So I'm going to yeah. click here now. So we are recording. So welcome to uh, a session brought to you by me, Dr. Alan Chong, High Profits Practice. And this is one of the uh, things I want to offer to my community and beyond some great tools and uh, ideas on how to expand your business quickly, because I truly believe that growing your business quick is way easier, far easier than growing it slow. And we have guest uh, Matthew Peterson here from Jump Online. Uh, I call it the world's best online presence management software. And I truly believe that because we had some amazing results. For example, uh, how many of you actually, and we'll do it by just for fun by show of hands, and if you're watching and recording, it's also fun, is how many by show of hands have an online business? Yeah, I think everybody here. And who also has a bricks and mortars address-based business as well? You have it tied into an address or something. Okay, a couple of you. So whether you're online or offline, would you agree that getting found in a Google search is a really important thing? Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, for sure, that's, that's a good thing. And um, if you're not found, what, what happens? What's, what's, what's really painful? No, loss of business. Absolutely, loss of business. Anybody else want to chime in there? Um, you're missing out clients. I know I've been missing out clients. So let me give you a true to life story. In our downtown clinic, which Jennifer is, uh, is hanging out there, that's our beautiful downtown clinic, and there's beautiful Jennifer holding the fort. <laughs> um, and our, we are a service-based, I'm a chiropractor, practicing chiropractor for many, many years. I have two physical locations, three clinics. Do you think it's important for us to be found? There's over 500 chiropractors in my city. That might not sound a lot to you, but we're, when we're doing a search, and Jennifer, uh, I will refer to, please tell the quick story. Uh, just unmute and tell the quick story of what I had you do. Actually, I've had to do this regularly. There, you're unmuted. Regularly is searching where do we show up on an organic Google search? And we um, don't pay for Google ads. No, we don't. So originally, we were on the second page of Google, about over Eight, halfway down the page. 18. So 18. Um, once we got set up with the jump software and we had all of our keywords put in, we went from second page on the 18th to the very first page, third listing down. I thought it was number two. Come on. Uh, you, showed, you showed me number two. Was it number two? Yeah, it was number two. I, I don't forget that. <laughs> so going from page two, number 18, <laughs> not likely to be searched to number page one, number two. And I personally don't believe in uh, paying for Google Ads uh, unless it's a very specific targeted campaign, which would be Facebook or, or something else. But I, I don't pay thousands of dollars for Google Ads. So we got to number two. Do you think that's going to start increasing my business traffic and traffic to my website? Absolutely. So that's what Jump did for us. And I couldn't believe it, it happened that quickly. So Matt, can you comment on, like Matt is a, um, a, a customer support as, you just introduce yourself quickly and, and you're a guest presenter. Tell, tell them what that means. Yeah, thanks Dr. Chong. So I'm a, I'm a partner manager with Jump Software. Uh, we're, we're down here in the States. We're just out of uh, Salt Lake City. And interestingly enough, we uh, how this software came about, we used to be a digital marketing agency. Okay, so it was our job to make sure small to medium sized businesses or um, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs could get more web traffic. Okay, now we had this light bulb moment a uh, little over two years ago. Wait a second, instead of doing fulfillment for a small business, and charging them a thousand or two thousand or five or ten k per month, depending on the budget of the business. But starting at a thousand bucks, instead of um, doing that SEO work and using all of the secret sauce that we had, we realized, wait a second, why don't we um, 
create a tool that we can hand over to a business. It'll run in the background. And instead of having to, to spend this month or this much a, a month, give the business owner the tool. So it costs them that much. And then that way they can mitigate the amount of financial risk so they can maximize the returns. I mean, we're in the small business space. We understand that most entrepreneurs are wearing 47 different hats on any given day. And cash flow is a real challenge. And so we, we are absolutely positively hell bent on empowering small to medium sized businesses. And so that is why we created this platform that Dr. Chong is going to share with you today. Right. So, but what does it mean to, uh, to go through your process, come on board with you, uh, with jump map and go from second page number 18 to first page number two, like obviously there's some strategy and, and Jen and I work through some stuff. I have a, a fair amount of online training, um, a, a number of smarts and hacks that I use to enhance that. That's how we got the amazing results. But where does that compare to your average, you know, sort of what you can expect? Because that is not what everybody can expect. Uh, no, the fact that you were able to get um, ranked number two in a week in a heavily competitive keyword in a large um, market is fantastic. Most of our clients, uh, I mean, Alan is like, a grand slam. It's incredible. But the reason why we're growing so fast is because it usually takes about um, our clients see an uptick in Google web traffic within about three months. That's the honest uh, answer. Um, it takes about three months. And then on average, our clients are getting a 2x in call to actions on Google. So web traffic, um, when people click the button, call or they click that little rectangle get directions to if it's a brick and mortar um, so on and so forth so within about three to five months um, our clients are getting a 2x on Google traffic and then a 5x on listing sites outside of Google um, so yeah sure so in other words uh, with working with me though, if you choose to uh, try jump and get on board, I will actually take the time to personally coach you and your team uh, and help you with Jennifer's help to get you onboarded um, properly and uh, basically have that session that gets all this stuff uh, streamlined so you can jump faster, you can jump way faster. And from my experience, I mean, I can't, we can't promise you that depending on what other factors are going on, but that's, I'm just telling you my story, what we were able to, to achieve. But as soon as I met with uh, uh, Matt and jump and I, I actually saw the power of this to be able to leverage my time. Now, the other thing that Matt, you're going to go into is there's two other, there's well, two really important um, things that jump also does. I mean, who wants to manage their social media really effectively so they drive traffic to, to where they want to drive traffic to? Yeah, I mean, that's what it's all about, right? And who wants to do it for a very reasonable cost? Everyone, right? Yeah, yeah. So, Jennifer, how <laughs> do you use Jump for platforming? Because I've asked you to handle our social media. So, to you, Jennifer. Sorry, you had cut out there. I didn't quite catch the beginning of that. Just, 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 tell, just share so far. We haven't even maximized our, we're really new to jump. So I'm just not only so excited, but I see how it actually is already creating positive change and increasing our business. So just in social, social media, it's a platform for posting across many different oh. social media and you can actually program Matt, You said we can actually schedule six months in advance. What we want is our campaigns. And then we can edit them as we go in case things change because things do change. But it, it, how much time and money is that going to save us? Well, how much money has it saved us? Uh, I mean, how much time has it saved you already, Jennifer? Oh, it used to take me 15, 20 minutes to post between our downtown office and our second office. Now I just flip through the screen, post it takes me maybe five minutes. And everything is just right there in front of me. It's just bang, 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 done. 
And uh, okay, great. So now Matt, I'm going to give Matt the opportunity to present for uh, 20 minutes or so, and then I'm going to have a specific Q and A. So uh, and then including uh, hopefully being able to scan Kira, who's Canadian based, uh, and get get an idea of how it actually works. But so go go do your thing there, Matt, first, and then we'll do Q and A at the end. So it'd just be way more efficient that way. So please hang okay. on. Okay. You you bet. Here we go, guys. Uh, and first of all, um, I want to thank everyone for their time. Obviously, you guys are incredibly busy. So thank you for the opportunity um, to share with you guys how you can legitimately grow and scale your business, saving you uh, saving you time and also generating more revenue. And re regardless of whether or not this is a good fit, I, I think it's a good fit, Doctor. Chong thinks is a good fit, but regardless, I hope, uh, I promise you, I will give you some takeaways um, as to how this can uh, permanently benefit your business going forward, so you can stand out um, better from your competition. Okay, so here we go. With that said, um, Kiera, um, what? Uh, Kiera. Oh, Kiera. I am so sorry, Kiera. If I do that again, it's a thirty-five dollar fine. Yeah. Kiera. Um, what, uh, what is your post code? code? Oh, you're on, uh, you need to unmute your screen, Kira. Postal code, yeah. Just unmute there, Kira. Yep. There she is. November 3, Petersburg 9. November T 3. T3P? T2N. Thank you. 3P9. Thank All right, you. watch this, guys. Gals. Okay, guys. So let me. If there is a number greater than zero or five percent, you can use our software um, to open up the floodgates on online leads. So, so do you want to explain what this is doing right now there, Matt? Absolutely. Or so if, uh, if you look here, um, these are the top 19 directories that Google crawls um, on a monthly basis, okay? Google's entire brand is trust. Whenever anyone goes online, they, and a user types in X, Y, it's Google's responsibility to the masses to pop out the most trusted Z. So how do they do that? It's based off of uh, a term called domain authority. Okay. I want you guys to remember that domain authority. It's the same thing as, as Google trust. Okay. How does Google grant a business domain authority? Uh, here's how. Okay. Google, um, is obviously the most powerful, um, most highly populated listing site or search engine in the universe. The China? It is not just enough to have correct data on Google because Google on the back end, every two weeks on a bi-monthly basis, Google fact checks you on other listing sites that are the most relevant to Google. So uh, case in point, um, Google checks Google and says, hey, have you ever heard of Evolved Health on 1414 14 Road? Google reports back to itself, yes, I've, I've heard of them. Google then goes over to Yelp and says, hey, Yelp, have you ever heard of Evolved Yelp? So Kiere, um, when Yelp reports back to Google, ah, we've never heard of these guys. Google finds that fishy and they have flagged your listing. Now, if you look here, um, what is, uh, this address on your Facebook key area? Oh, that's our second location. Okay. So it's pulling another location. What about, uh, what about 15 minute exercise in Kensington? That's us. Okay. So, um, only slight, slight issue here is that these uh, data crawlers, how Google goes in and scans on a biweekly basis, unfortunately, um, Google 
needs to make sure that there is accurate and correct information. So if there is a different address, uh, if there's a different phone number, if you guys recently moved, if you rebranded or renamed, um, just like how Google flagged your listing on web local because there's a different entity name. It sees that, yeah, you're relatively in the same place, but it's two different businesses. Google thinks you're running a Ponzi scheme. They don't trust you, so they flag your listing on web local. Uh, they, they don't really think you're running a Ponzi scheme. They, I was just loose language for saying they, they think it's fishy. Um, and then so on and so forth, as Google crawls through these different directories, um, if you're missing all together, that also hurts you, okay? So there's two huge pain points, okay? Number one, it takes, uh, it takes a lot of time and energy to create 19 different accounts, 19 different passwords, fill in 19 different about me's, 19 different business descriptions, uh, upload a bunch of photos about your business, multiple, multiple photos across 19 different listing sites, fill in 19 different sets of all of the keywords that you need, your business logos. I mean, it takes about 50 hours to, to clean this up. But problem number two is even bigger, okay? Kiere, if you were to oh, go- 35 bucks. <laughs> Did I say Kiere? <laughs> Kiere. Pretty close. Ah! I'll, I'll, I'll give you a close pass there. Oh, thank you. Darn it. Matt's going to buy me dinner and I'll pass it on to Kire uh, down in Phoenix. I'm sorry, Kire. Hey, Kire, am I going to see you this weekend in Phoenix too? No. no. Oh, Matt sorry. and I are working together in Phoenix uh, this weekend uh, for everybody who's watching and listening. That's how Big yeah. Jump is. And, and I'm at a speaker's conference there uh, for 200 plus. Uh, now, now. Kiere, real quick, sorry, Alan. Um, Kiere. Kiere. How am I saying it wrong? That's good. Kiere, Kiere last one. Kiere, okay. Doesn't Very good. I'm so terrible. I'm sorry. Uh, Kiere, do you remember ever going to weblocal.com, creating a listing and password? No. So let me ask you this, okay? Because a lot of business owners ask me this. How in the world did your business info get there? How did they get there? Yes. How did that info get there? If you're not controlling your online data, who is? Big brother. Exactly. Crazy. Don't now, here, here is what's super frustrating for a lot of business owners, okay? Um, some of these listing sites just crawl and scrape chamber of commerce records, tax records, public records, whatever. Um, and if they find... Um, credible records with business information, they'll scrape and pull it. Now, here is a huge pain point for everyone. This isn't even the correct data. It's the wrong entity name and the address is different. So it's hurting you on a couple different fronts. So that leads me to, to pain point number two. Um, here I can go in and, and create and fix all of these manually, but the second that you do create and publish all of these different listings, your data isn't locked, okay? As soon as, as you can go in and spend all that time fixing it, but in a couple of weeks after you fix it, if those data crawlers or bots scrape that old entity name or that old location, they will go in and manually change it back to the old way because it's older and it feels like it's more trusted. So pain point number one is, dude, how, it just takes too much time to do it. It's a pain in the butt. And number two is how do I keep my data clean? And so this is, this is why we created the software. Now this is, uh, before I move into how this is fixed, you guys need to look at these listing sites as well. Why is this even important? Okay, well, it's important because Google says it's important. If any business with the listing and accuracy rate greater than zero to 5%, you do not have a lot of domain authority and your online presence is hurting, not helping you. And the problem is a lot of small to medium sized businesses don't even know their information is jacked up in the first place. Now, you guys need to look at these listings 
as infrastructure, okay? One of the main reasons why the Roman civilization um, dominated and conquered most of Europe in the late BC and the early AD is because historians said all roads led to Rome. Okay, I want to repeat that. All roads led to Rome. You can have your website, you can have your Google My Business listing, but the problem is if all of these other roads are broken, yeah, you, you it's a are problem. Mis missing out on traffic. Yeah. So, so quickly, Kiri, what, what do you think of that scan? Is it revealing a bit to you or not? Oh, yeah, I had no idea about, I mean, I don't even know these names beyond the first row. And yeah. who else who's watching right now doesn't know most of these names? I didn't know most of these names. And they all affect your Google ranking, organic search. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that so leads to so oh, fixes all that with, with some smarts and some. Cor correct. So what you guys are now looking at is, uh, is the software. Okay. You guys would get your own logins and here is how um, the, the data fixes that. But really quick, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to dig a little deeper on Curie's. Curie, what do you do for work? What, are, what is your industry? Fitness and health. Uh, and now is it like a fitness and health coach? Um, personal training. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Personal training near Calgary. I'm going to do what most consumers do. If uh, they're looking for um, a good or service, they're going to go to Google. So um, really quick, let's look for evolved health. There's obviously lots of different options for consumers to pick. Uh, matter of fact, there's 20 on each page and there's nine pages. So there is a hundred or sorry, let's see. I'm having shiny ball syndrome. I'm looking for 180. 180. Yes, ma'am. Um, you found it, Kiri? Yeah, so, so just to, to talk a bit to the rest of the audience, like imagine you not being able to be found, Amanda, which you're saying has been the case. Um, now imagine a, a software that is very affordable of uh, where you not only can manage that, but tweak it as you discover better keywords and you know all those things that are going to make you more find findable and working with us and working with the company to, to do that. Would that be useful to you, Amanda? Well, I pay 200 pound a month for someone to SEO my site for 10 years. <laughs> oh my God. How much yeah, money is that? Yeah. Someone figure yeah. that out. Yeah. And then I stopped it about five years ago and, um, and it just ruined my business. And <laughs> now, now this is why I'm creating a new website. No, no. So I, 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 I want to, um, you know, get good at this from the start because I'm starting all over again. Yeah. Yeah. No, some people are tech like Lubna. If you're still, you're still on with us. You're a tech savvy person. You understand this, right? Lubna. I mean, how much could that possibly, how much are people spending on like SEO and, and this type of stuff? Are you asking me, Alan? Yes. Uh, probably way too much time and energy. Yeah. So approximately dollar or like in, quid or you know in currency how much people usually I, that can, that can be most of the people if you hire someone to do seo for you a thousand dollars a month and up at yeah. least well when we tell you how little you can you we've got a super deal for you at the at the end um, we are not going to save it right to the end, but I'm going to tell you about it is how the software can help manage that and then enhance it even more. And you're in control of it. You're not paying a third party. So, you know, as you learn more and what Sammy's teaching about uh, keywords and keyword phrases and stuff, all that just perfectly blends in with, with your, your 
with this jump. That's why it was brilliant to me. That's how I was able to use that training from Sammy and put in all the other experiences to jump us from, um, if those who just joined us, we, we were organic search number 18, page two, as a clinic, uh, Calgary chiropractor, I'm a practicing chiropractor near me. Page two, number 18. I thought we were doing pretty well. We got great Google reviews. Um, Sorry, guys. And so we, we jumped in one week, which Matt says like is astounding. Um, like we, I impressed Matt. That was my goal. Uh, <laughs> we got to organic search page one, number two. So imagine if you could do that. I mean, not that you can do that in one week, but I'm saying that is the potential for a software that takes care of stuff for you. What do you think of that, Lubna? Well, that sounds amazing. Okay, now, Kiere, I want to get back to you because I saw you chomping at the bit a second ago. I, I found you um, near the top of Google, um, which is good. Are you still there? Yeah, I have a question. Like, you know, we have 65 or 64 five-star reviews. Yes. But I noticed, like, it comes up as three sometimes when you Google, when you Google it. Three stars. Three, three reviews. Oh, yeah. Instead of 64. Where did you go? Yeah. I had so, you there. So I know. You had me a couple of times. Just, just okay. a quick summary is more important there, Matt. Okay. Than Here we go. Much. Yep, you got it. So here's the problem, though. On a vague umbrella search, okay, um, you're, you're not pulling up, okay? There's these 100 and, uh, 180 um, listings before her. Yeah, listings before you uh, on a broad personal trainer near Calgary. Now, is it safe to say that you would like to start attracting more new clients just outside of your very specific postal code? Yeah, who on the call would love more new clients? Yeah, but also I, might, I also have a question about two locations and how that – that um, shows up through this. You're, you're awesome. So here's your answer, okay? Um, behold, we give you a, a master key to the internet, okay? So in one place, uh, you look and see all of these listing sites that Google is crawling. Uh, with the Jump software, you're able to type in the correct business name, address. Um, you can oftentimes, sometimes when you're in a, uh, a shopping complex, if your pin is on an obscure part of the the business location, it can throw off customers. You can manipulate that to where it's precise. You have your business description hours. Now, those are all nice to have. You upload your photos, but this is where you guys get your ROI, okay? So um, you would type in your good or services that you want to be found under. And this is where this is I would where I'd help you every individual client and and Matt's team if need be whoever uh, to to get you nailed down to that's how we were able to jump from page two way down to page one because I knew a lot about what keywords we wanted searched. Correct. We nailed it out of the park. Absolutely. Now within 24 hours of using Jump software your listing inaccuracy rate goes within the um, within the amount that Google allows. It goes down to 0% automatically, okay? Um, and it will populate all of these other listing sites. So problem number one is taken care of. You are now trusted by Google. Um, problem number two is once your um, listings are are cleaned. Our software has what's called MatchLock API technology and it keeps it clean. Now to answer your question, what if I have a different um, location? That's totally fine. You would have different location addresses. You would have two licenses of Jump software. All of this um, software, each license is dependent upon each set of different uh, location data. Does that make sense? No. Does it make sense, Kiri? Yeah. I, I can talk to you about that later specifically. Yeah. So I, I want to go to the other, uh, if Matt, you want to go to the couple other really important things. One yep. is 
I'll just state it, is that uh, Jump has an amazing platform for helping you generate reviews from your, from your clients, you know, how you ask them. And so what Jump has is you can ask them by texting them or emailing them, but it helps you monitor whether they clicked on the link they, they actually, or they, and they actually opened and if they actually did a review. So you actually can track that. So it has a whole bunch of metrics, which we don't have time to get into. Sure. That would be part of the training and such. Um, and the, so the third most important thing that Jump does for you and us is helps you get on uh, social media platforms that you want to with one easy platform without all different logins. And you can schedule all this. Thanks for bringing that up, Matt. Um, and, and you can basically create campaigns, sub campaigns. You can basically plan your social media like Sammy tells you that you should be doing, and then you can actually do it with one really slick tool that's uh, going to save you a lot of time and therefore a lot of money, even if you hire that out or have someone work it. But you know, it makes it so easy you can do it yourself. And how much money is that going to save you, right? Wow, that's cool. Yeah, so you can see your all of your different social feeds in one place, and depending upon what platform it, it goes out on, you can uh, you can schedule them out. So instead of having that obnoxious little voice on your shoulder uh, saying, "Guys, it's been about three or four days. You should probably post something." You do that <laughs> one time uh, a month. Take about um, forty-five minutes or two hours, however long you want, um, but just budget it out, knock it out of the park in one sitting, and then just have those posts automate. Now, here's my pro tip or pro tip takeaway that I want to give you guys. Okay. Start posting between seven to 9 AM and six to 8 PM, regardless of whether or not you end up using a scheduled postings tool. If you're going to manually do it the hard way, which I don't recommend because it's just really tough. Always remember to post between six and eight in the morning, or sorry, seven and nine in the morning and six and 8 p.m. at night. That is the highest uh, traffic and conversions are always higher when you make a post. Problem is a lot of people will make a post during a dead time uh, and it's not really in the high traffic window. So that's a great tip there, Matt. Thank you. you. Now, guys, really quick, um, before we move on, um, Kiere, I hope I said that right. Um, I, Amanda, I'm going to talk to you for a second. Amanda, let's pretend that you want to get in shape and you, you Google personal training near Calgary based off of these reviews and take a second. Who would you pick? Who would you pick and why? Oh, wait, whoops. Sorry. I'm not trying to, who would you pick and why? based off of these reviews? Oh, sorry guys. I'm only looking at this on my iPhone, so this, it's not, oh, actually, oh, I can make it it's okay, yeah. I can make it bigger. Well, funny enough, I was a fitness instructor for 10 years, so this, wow. is, really, this is really good to me, and um, I now promote the importance of preschoolers being physical and active, so this is awesome. great. Okay, so who would I choose and why? Well, I would always choose someone with a five-star review. Uh, now, what about quantity of reviews, though, on average? Yeah, exactly. So I'm looking for that now. You're Jensen Fitness, 88, Amanda. Yeah, Nailed it. Felicity. <laughs> okay. I work with Amanda. She's there. She's I, I am. I've been here all along. Oh, I didn't know. Meet Felicity, Alan. <laughs> yes, great. Awesome. Thank Hi, you. Felicity. Um, Hello. So Guys, go ahead, Matt. Yeah, you're, you're exactly right. Um, Based on the data, um, we all have heard the expression in business, people buy from those they like and those they trust. That's a, a no-brainer because it's true. The How much someone likes you is the star rating. How much you are trusted is by the review count. So obviously, um, everyone on here has between a four and a half and five star review everyone's doing great. So what is the common denominator? What tilts the needle to someone choosing Kire? The, the amount of reviews. Okay? The amount of reviews, yes. You're right. People, 
people buy from those they like, which is the 4.9, but how much you're trusted is the review quantity. Okay. Um, so Harvard says if a business can leverage reviews better than the competition, that'll lead to a five to 9% jump in annual revenue per one star increase. Kiere, you already have a five star. It's impossible for you to go from a five star to a six star. However, if you're able to figure out a way, um, instead of having, uh, this is my last thought, Alan, mm -hmm. instead of only having nine reviews or 60 reviews like you have, what if you were to use jump software to cultivate positive real um, reviews and then by the end of 12 months or 24 months, now Advanced Health has 240 reviews and everyone else has 16 or 80 at most. Who does that customer call first now? You get it. That's the, that's, call, the, yeah. that's the social proof behind it. Alan, handing it over to you, brother. All right. I just posted something in the chat. Jennifer asked me, thank you for reminding me that if uh, everybody would like to put their full name and email address, then Jennifer will send you a kind of thanks for attending. And then you'll have our contact in case that, you know, you have to run or something. But um, so who uh, we're going to go to Q&A real quickly. But I want to tell you the offer today because as some of you may have to run. So um, Jump software is not thousands of dollars per month. It's, it is, uh, and in UK or Euros, you can convert that. All, all our pricing is in US dollars, including mine. And so today we have an offer where you get $500 off the, the upfronting um, uh, uh, fee, which basically is your setup fee, which is normally a uh, $999,000. Uh, American so you can do your quick currency conversions and uh, let me give you the link uh, if you go scroll up to the very top of the chat I am going to copy it again um, let's see do, uh, do all of you guys know where that chat bubble is on zoom can you see that guys yes yeah at the bottom I think if, if you don't that, please so. speak up because I didn't used to know where that was. Oh, okay great yeah so uh, um, Jennifer is helping us record, you know, do a spreadsheet, wherever the contact information. Thanks for giving me all the information. I'm going to, you can go to this if you're, if you're uh, on the computer, but this is the link and you can follow along about what the offer is. Basically it's $9.99 to, uh, to get the, the, your license and then be able to use it. And then it's, um, $3.99 per month after that. It's basically save $500 though today. Instead of 999, we're going to do that, right, Matt? We got yes. okay to do that uh, for $500 off. So that saves you right away, and that's the, that's going to get your uh, Google and uh, SEO cleaned up quickly. And then you need to run that for a period of time and tweak your keywords. That would be kind of the on, ongoing management, which is going to keep it maintained and have it uh, API locked, as Matt says. And basically, gave you a ton of content <coughs> up your up your rankings. The second thing it's going to do it gives so that three ninety nine is comes gets charged out the day after, and that's your monthly subscription. So that's in UK. That's about what two hundred quid, um, or no, a little more than that, just slightly more than that. But what that's going to do is give you all the tools for uh, asking for reviews, and the most importantly is going to continue to SEO uh, and have this, our, our support. Jennifer's one of our key support team. Um, and then there's actual jump that will support you as well. And, and Alan, if, if, if you don't mind, guys, yes. the, the reason why this is, uh, um, the reason why jump was created, we didn't reinvent the wheel. Everyone on this presentation knows that there are companies out there that can help with local SEO. We're not the first to do it and we're not gonna claim to. But those other companies, the, the costs kind of add up, okay? And I want to show you, can you guys see my infographic? Yeah. Okay. So there are companies out there um, that will do local SEO from anywhere from a couple hundred to a thousand bucks a month. There are companies out there that will do scheduled postings platform and help you manage your social campaigns. 
Some businesses, or sorry, some companies like Hootsuite, Buffer, Lava Surf, Daily Post, anywhere from 99 bucks. Ours is also very LinkedIn heavy, like a, a company called Nuvi. We have more horsepower like they do. And Nuvi charges $900 per month just for that platform. There is a, a review generation tool that we're going to give all of you guys where from the platform, you can send a text message saying, hey, leave us a review here. We love and appreciate doing business with you. Please leave us your feedback. By using um, a text campaign, your conversion rates on getting reviews skyrockets, which is why review gen is so important. Those platforms run anywhere from 100 to $1,000. And then another portion of Jump Software, which we haven't even touched on, is analytics. We, once we give you Jump Software, we want you to know Jump Software is working. And so you can manage and track all of your data and other customizable dashboards like this um, run at uh, a couple thousand a month. My Wi-Fi is like super, super slow right now, but um, you will literally be able to track the amount of uh, users, their buying behaviors. And so those applications cost $3.99. So what is Alan's value proposition to you? Okay. Yes, you can go and buy four other different solutions, but they're four janky services that don't even talk to each other. At Jump, we wanted to create an all-in-one presence management tool. And instead of having 800 to a couple thousand bucks a month in spend on these tools, let's give it away for, for the price that Alan's given to you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Perfect. And now we're right into Q and A because you both probably have questions about the platform and uh, you know other things. So let's open it up one at a time here for Q and A. Um, those of you who have to go quickest, let's get your hands raised right now and ask ask questions. So who would like to go? Ask Amanda. You got a burning question? Felicity, are you there? Yes. Okay. So Felicity is now helping with my new website. I'm not a technical person at all. What question would you have for Alan, if any, Felicity? Or Matt, yeah. Or Matt. Okay, so, uh, well, I'm helping get the, the content plan together for it. Just to clarify, Amanda has a web designer. I'm not doing the web design, and he's sure. been a SEO person up till now. Um, so if we've got a website developer doing it, um, what... Well, what's the sort of best way of ensuring that um, the sort of SEO is in place in the beginning? If, if you're going to get something like Jump, once your website's established, are there sort of steps that, you know, it's best to have taken beforehand? Matt, yeah. that's a question for you. Awesome, awesome question. So Felicity, the good news is about Jump, um, you don't even tech, uh, technically need a website to utilize it. Here's okay. why. They're, they're, this, this focuses on uh, the directories, okay? So making sure that just because someone goes onto Google and types in, again, I'm gonna go back to the fitness training, fitness training near me, and then all of those options pull up, people are gonna look at the business name, their reviews, and they're going, going to press call if they're interested. They're, it, it the the data shows that the amount of people that actually click the website button on a listing citation is going down now granted websites are super important it legitimatizes the business but the the website is um that's rome we're focused on building all of the infrastructure and cleaning that up so mm -hmm. the traffic can actually start walking towards it. Now, regardless of whether the website is under construction or it doesn't look perfect or it's going to be launched soon, it's better to ramp up and plug in Jump Software ahead of time. So at least Google sees that three-month window of dom perfect domain authority. Then they'll grant it to you, and then you see a spike in traffic between month three or around month three i mean yeah. is that it? What, what, one of the values felicity and amanda is that i would actually take a, a call with the, the the people involved like you amanda and maybe even your website person or just you, you two to 
to actually brainstorm your keywords because you need to lead that from the top from your experience. And that's the big mistake that most entrepreneurs make is like Sammy says, you got to lead the show. You, you can't just hire people and let them do their stuff and expect you to get amazing results. And jump is, is just an, uh, another huge time and money saver to, to help you get those results. But. Yeah, no, agree. I've got a spreadsheet. I've done some keyword research for Amanda already. So um, I need to, um, yeah, I've got that in place. But yeah, obviously, I think, yeah, brainstorming to, to fully flesh out whether right. everything's But what, what I'm saying is once you, once you get jump is to populate it properly and then actually look for your results and get the metrics. And that's, that's what a tool like jump can do for you. And no, I, you know, Matt's the one who's the expert. You mm. would be hard pressed to pull all that information all together with yeah. a reasonable amount of money okay no thank you Does that makes sense yep no totally can i ask a question yes of course um so with the call to action what do you find is the best call to action is is it go to a web page is it go to a landing page um but where are the best results? Oh, you're, you're wonderful. So that's actually um, based on customer preference. Um, the most important thing is to get you as visible as possible. Okay. Which is why um, we plug you into the, all of the listing sites that Google sees is relevant. Um, the most important thing isn't, well, are they going to press the call button? Are they going to click the website button are they going to click the get directions button what is most important is getting you up so they can see that and then obviously forcing people to pick you because your reviews are so good and then once you're being seen more once you are converting more because the social proof with you is so high because your reviews are so good then you leverage social media to send out branding signals and maintain your audience and then you track all of that using the data Yeah, makes sense. Does that make sense, Carrie? I don't know if he, um, yeah. it makes sense, but I, I still I'm I'm still just curious with your knowledge of the industry. Uh, like the like most I said, powerful converter. The the most powerful converter is, um, generally speaking, it's it's the phone call. If I mean, oh, you, okay. yeah, usually Good old fashioned phone call. Yeah, no, I mean because. <laughs> Um, if they go to the website, generally speaking, they're kicking tires. The, the two greatest converters um, actually get directions to um, is also a, a really good KPI or key performance indicator. Sometimes, though, that um, it, it's what's hard to track about phone calls and get directions to um, is returning customers versus new customers within the software you can actually track if it's a new geographic user in and around calgary going to your website so you'll actually be able to track some of that using the tool great question yeah, which is google analytics and google business and stuff right so which jump helps you manage and look at the analytics correct correct yeah yeah Thanks. so it's really it's really quite um powerful in a sense of what the average business small business and even medium sized business needs. Does that make sense, Amanda? Questions, Selena? Yeah. No, it's very, very clever. See, in, in, in our industry, in the children's activity market, it's saturated. There are so many groups popping up and I'm, I'm just not being found at the minute. So um, yeah, as I say. That's gotta be frustrating by the minute, like you say, or by the day for sure. So we can get you set up, Amanda. Um, if, if you, if you want to get set up, this is the offer. I know some of you people have to leave. What you can do is stay on, uh, and we would walk you through a couple steps here uh, if you want to do that and you know, take advantage of the offer because this offer is only on for a week. Uh, after I come back from Phoenix, that, that offer is going to be, I don't know when I'm going to offer it again. So we, we I have to be. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I can't do anything now because I've already been on the phone for two hours with my Perfect. accountability tool. 
but I'll speak to Felicity. We'll discuss it and then we'll come back to you. Yeah, just message me um, just separately, Amanda, in the next uh, couple of days. Yeah. And, uh, you know, because it's, it's actually quite easy to onboard and Jennifer will help you. The jump team will help you as well. So Matt's team. And so we're here to support you and so, Kiri as well. Um, any other quick questions here? Yeah, sorry, really quick question. And sorry if I, I, I didn't. I just have to run. I'm yeah. really interested, but I, I got to get out to another meeting. Okay. So thank you, everybody. So I didn't quite understand the price, to be honest. I don't know why, but um, I, I understood there was a discount, but I didn't get what the like, amount of to purchase it what would actually cost her per month uh well it's, it's nine this is all in u.s dollar pricing yeah 99 is the regular um onboarding price right for your 30 day success pass basically a one-time setup fee so it's all the setup and such in so 899 us 500 Sorry, is that us or canadian dollars because obviously that's it's, quite it's us dollars because all, right. all my business my my business this is through the uh, my high profits practice and uh, my online business, which charges everything in U.S. dollars, just to keep it universal. And sure. so it's nine ninety nine, five hundred dollars off means it's four ninety nine, four ninety nine for you for this this offer, the presentation. Um, and then it's uh, a subscription monthly fee of three ninety nine. That's to run the software and and get the support right. after that. So it is your onboarding, which is a separate, that's like your first visit to the chiropractor, you know, it's going to cost you this much. And then if we have a treatment for any interventions, which we are going to do, because I don't think you want to just be handed the software and say, okay, take it away. Thank you very much. No, that's three ninety nine starting that first month and then, and then recurring. But okay. three ninety nine US. Does that make sense now? Yeah, no, 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 I've got it now. So, yeah. Are you, uh, sorry, Alan, are you tied into a contract for a certain amount of time after that? No contracts. But we would want you to knock it out of the park. So your contract oh, is, you I promise to save money for me and you. <laughs> well, you've proved it, haven't you? <laughs> for sure, so far. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw the big picture right away. Felicity, do you think there'll be others in our LEAP networking group that would be interested? Um, we can we can tell them about it, but uh, to be honest, they're, they're all quite low budget businesses, aren't they, in the LEAP group? I'm not sure there'd be many people that could afford that. You're one of the bigger ends of businesses. Yeah, and, really that, and that is an entry point that, you know, you need to be a certain type of, you need to be generating some cash flow, um, or really be on the verge of something to generate cash flow because that's that's, that's the whole thing. You want to be successful yeah. with that and see. I think that for a actually... franchise business in the children's activity sector, then then yes, I can definitely see that. But right. then a lot of the members of our networking group are independent businesses, and it's just going to be way above their budget. But yeah, Amanda, it's maybe worth mentioning in your franchise groups. Well, what yeah. we can do is we could do another presentation as as long as we get a good handful or you know five, ten, or more. Uh, people joining us, then we'll we'll do an online presentation like this, super efficient, right? Show and, and tell. And the yeah, other thing I, is, oh, sorry. Oh, I, I was just going to say really quick, Felicity. Um, one of the main reasons why a lot of these uh, um, these other companies can't afford Jump, obviously, that's a glaring sign. It's a cash flow issue. Why do they have a, a cash flow issue? They're having a hard time either with churn or new clients coming in. So yeah plug in a stream of high converting leads, suddenly that issue goes away. And then if Jump Software nets the, the client 50 to 90,000, the 4,000 bucks or whatever that they would spend on the software. A year, it, yeah, 5,000 or whatever. Yeah. It's a, a widow's might in comparison of what the software can actually do to transform the business, which is why we're doing it. Yeah, no, sure. I just know that in this networking group that Amanda's referring to, there's there's a lot of people that just. Oh yeah, that Amanda, you know a whole bunch of people, <laughs> even in Brand Builders Club. Uh, I want to get together and have another one of these. I'd love for you to be the first model a client mm. breaking through in our kind of little group here. Um, I think that's then, more course, the sort of group. Then you've got your Melbourne. Uh, oops, uh, you've got yeah. your other. Uh, <clears throat> 
other potential areas that Ooh, uh, I didn't know watching, that. <laughs> uh, like who knows like yeah yeah who knows well thank you guys it's been real good insight thank you matt for taking us through the presentation amanda to, you're welcome yeah, any other questions actually, yeah actually see it see it working it, it's it's great thank you My great pleasure. Lots, lots of food for thought and um yeah uh, we, we'll we'll be back in touch absolutely yeah what what i'd like yeah go ahead felicity were you going to ask something else no that was it i was just going to say okay thanks as well okay. selena anyone no selena no she's still there no other questions all right hello sorry i put, I put on mute sorry any That's other okay. questions no, I'm just starting. I will keep in touch. Well, I'm just starting to put everything into place. Sure. So. Great. Well, please, uh, let's we can we can set up another talk within BBC. I know this is a little short notice. We should actually do that in advance. I think I think Sammy would hugely benefit. But um, so uh, Amanda, what I'm going to do is we're going to jump. We're going to finish the call. Thank you very much for showing up. This is another. Uh, great tool and hopefully it was educational as a minimum and you know there there are these hacks and i i call it the world's uh jump is the world's best online presence management software and i and we've already proved it so far so if if showing up on google searches showing up uh, in your community when people are searching the things that they're searching your in other words your ideal clients are showing up on your doorstep to your website to your listings and then they're seeing quality reviews and they're seeing you in social media that's what jump can do for you and it doesn't take necessarily a long time but it is something that's going to help you save money because you're not having to hire that out or to the degree that you're hiring it out or you can manage it yourself your choice and then secondly i see that when you make more money that's the most important thing it's not just saving money it's actually making more money and that's where i saw that right away and that's why i signed on um, with high profits practice as a official reseller uh, uh, worldwide really so that's that's the cool thing about it um and so we're here for you uh you can contact us at um how you contact me is through a chong c h o n g at t e l u s dot net or just search me under uh high profits practice dot com that's how you get a hold of me so um thanks for thanks for attending and we'll see you next time either way we want you to have the best tools in life to get things done as sammy would say <clears throat> done and uh, <laughs> we would make it happen so thank you both that was brilliant thank you. okay guys thanks thank matt you for guys. being my guest thanks please. jennifer good night all right